Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Fallout New Vegas, part 83 with Nova and Veronica. And I think we're on the last task before we go into the strip proper. So let's see if that holds true. Welcome. The Garrett should be sending over medical supplies shortly. I'm honestly pleasantly surprised they would help us out. But I can see the Garrets aren't doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. Well, it looks like you've earned yourself a discount on supplies now that we'll be fully covered. This supply deal will aid our work immensely. Well, good. <clears throat> you know anything about NCR soldiers here in Freeside? Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? Um... The King thinks those troops have been attacking locals. I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. Oh, okay. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Can do. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? That's all I needed, thank you. Man, she does not like to say goodbye. We're liked in the Hello. followers of the apocalypse. Why not? For such an evil character, we have some good connections with good people. Alright, so let's go to Elizabeth and mention Julie's name. Why is this going sending me two different directions? What? Talk to Major Elizabeth Kieran. I don't know which direction is supposed to be Major Elizabeth Kieran, actually. Yeah, what? What are these directions? What am I looking at exactly? You're funny looking. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Head to one of the squatter camps in Freeside. Ask the squatter camp to find a lead regarding why NCR soldiers are in the area. Sure. Hey, we man. got Grex. Can you spare a few caps? <laughs> what a mess this guy is. <laughs> Incredible. Alright. You, what's up? You look like a person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an NCR citizen, would you? No, I'm not. I and mean, I'm afraid I have nothing to offer you. Sorry. That meal's still available, but only to... I sure am. Now, it's not that I don't believe you, but I'm gonna have to give you a little quiz to verify your citizenship status. That okay with you? Yeah, go nuts. Lay it on me. That's a good attitude. I'm sure you'll do fine. These are just a few questions that just about anyone in the NCR would know. Uh-huh. Alright, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? Well, I only know about Kimball and Tandy, but let's try Tandy, because she was the first one, right? Uh-huh. Okay, second question. What was okay. the original name of the NCR capital? Aradesh, Shady Sands, the Boneyard, or Vault 13? They were telling us this was Shady Sands earlier. Right. Fine, then. Last question. Wow, we're actually what gonna do this. animal is on the NCR's flag? Two-headed bear. Two bear. My favorite eagle, animal with two, two heads. Head snake or a two-tailed lion? Easy questions. Good. You passed with flying colors. I told you it'd be fine. I expect you're wanting to know about that meal then, huh? We're located up by the old train station in the northwest part of town. Just tell the guards hope and they'll let you through. Okay. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Well, that's something. Oh, that kind of cut off our optional, didn't it? Okay. Well, hopefully I didn't mess this up by not doing the optional thing first, but I couldn't tell which marker was what, so we're just kind of rolling with it. God, we look good. We look good, Veronica. Pushy looks good on your arm, too. We got the BB gun on our back, of course. Is this going to send us back to that middle of nowhere back area again? That that Cerulean Robotics whatever place where Fisto was, was so middle of nowhere. Like, that was crazy middle of nowhere is what that was. Absolutely wild. Ah, excuse me. Um. I mean, yeah, that's basically where it's sending us. Oh, I bet this is the, uh... The key place, right? The ruined store had needed a key. And now there's people at it. Yep, perfect. Alright. Fair enough. These guys don't look like NCR guys, but I guess. 
Hold up. What's the password? Hope. Head on through. Thank you. Easy you enough. Go. I hope this helps. Return of the king in the form of the NCR, NCR supply drops. Okay. Elizabeth Kieran. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Uh, are, do you serve food to locals as well? No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you wanted to bring in? Yes, but I was afraid he wouldn't get served. You were right. But here, take another helping for your friend. It'll be our secret. She's a pretty good person, I think. Yes? Was there Why don't you serve locals? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. Okay. Julie Farkas told me to ask. She said it was important. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book. Mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. And the king refused? In a manner of speaking. Our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now, okay. there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That doesn't feel That's like something the king would do. Now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a pitch here, and you, you hear me out on. Inform the king the NCR previously sent an envoy. I don't, th I think they've only introduced so many characters here. I think that asshole Pacer beat up the envoy and is trying to cover for himself, and the king didn't even know about this, and then the king is gonna be mad at Pacer, uh, but Pacer is gonna be like, I'm gonna make this right, and then he's gonna try to make it worse. <laughs> I don't know, this all feels like what the cliche, like, obvious answers would be to what's happening, right? I just don't buy that Pacer's a decent dude. What do you think, Veronica? You buy that? I don't buy that. Yep. I'm gonna blame it on Pacer, and things are gonna go wrong with him and the king, and I, it could go a lot of ways from there, but that first part, at least, I'm pretty confident about. Let's see. I'm I'm like six. I'm no. I mean I'm seventy percent. That was Pacer, wasn't it? I'm like seventy percent sure I'm right. Eighty after that. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? The NCR is distributing supplies in a building down by the old train station. Handing out supplies like food and stuff. That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? They're only handing out supplies to NCR citizens. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. They said someone was sent to discuss the issue with you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? They said the man was severely beaten and barely survived. Huh. That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstand. What the hell? What just happened there? A man just appeared. King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. Oh, Pacer! What's that doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. Okay, King, I'm going. I don't know, the King is, such a, is, is just a cool dude. Like, I'm usually not on the side of good on this character, but... I mean, the King kind of seems like a neutral gray party. Like, he's capable of doing some bad stuff, but he's also a pretty good guy, from what I'm seeing. I don't know, he's just like, I can respect the guy, and I, I, I'm like super willing to do what the king asked me to do, compared to like everyone else who I'm like, you better be paying me. I don't think we're de-escalating that. I'm pretty sure this is already happening. Oh, snap. These kings got wrecked. A jailhouse rocker? That's an amazing name for this outfit. I love it. A jailhouse rocker. Hey, Pacer, you idiot. You got this under control. He dares? He actually just said that. I just see a bunch of dead kings. I'm not gonna lie. You there. Keep your hands where we can see him. Draw a weapon and we will fire. Alright. I'm not gonna draw a weapon then. 
That's easy to fix. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? The king wants to help with the relief effort. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. That wasn't him. He didn't even know an envoy was sent. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Okay, so that's good. Return to the king and let him know the situation with the NCR has been defused and that Pacer just got four kings killed. Dumbass. Has this guy ever done anything right? Ever? The king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill you the first chance I get, I'm just saying. This pacer guy sucks. He sucks a lot. I'm getting like... I'm looking at our character a lot just because I think we look so cool at this point that I just keep looking when I have nothing better to do while I'm just running place to place that I haven't seen, that I've already seen. Like literally 20 times I might have seen this section of the map already. So I know y'all are just as tired of it as I am. All right. I think this is it though. This is the wrap up for the king here. We did it, and the and Pacer still sucks. You should fire him, or let me execute him. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. True. You helped us plenty, so I'll tell you. Ooh, what. look at that! This wants, aim whatever you want, and if I can make it happen, it's done. Damn. Don't rush it though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. One thing of whatever I want from the king? That's kind of sick. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? This building is interesting. What do you know about it? Near as I can tell, it's some sort of religious institution. Oh, I know it's their school out front. I think we've already heard Everything this. Everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day. People used to come here to learn about him, to dress like him, move like him, to be him. If that's not worship, I don't know what is. True. Tell me more about him. Not a whole lot to tell. There were only a few books left in here when we found it. And those were rotted away. There were some posters left that were pretty well preserved, which is how we know all this stuff was based on the same guy. Right. The thing of it is, we don't even know what his name was. All the posters just referred to him as the king. <laughs> if only they could have gotten his, his uh If only they could have gotten permission to use Elvis's name in songs, that would have been insane. And that's where he got the name from. Well that and the giant sign outside. This place could have been the king's house of dog chow, and I still would have taken the name. But I like to think I keep the memory alive. You do. Man, you've got the voice and everything. Uh, let's talk about something else. Sure thing. Pretty sure we've already had that conversation. Where'd you get the robot dog? I got Rex here from a salvager a few years Rex. ago. Rex. What a dog name. He up when I got him. Well, one of the followers fixed him right up. Is there something wrong with him? He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out. And they said his brain is bad or something. <laughs> Can they do anything? No. They said they don't have the tools to help him. Is he going to be okay? For now. But they said eventually he's going to get worse. I don't know what to do. Can I help somehow? I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet would be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you have better luck. No way! No way! You can't do this to me! How many times am I gonna have to talk to this chick? What can you tell Don't me about Freeside? Freeside? You have to look back a few years. Originally, we were all just tribes making a living in this area. That all changed when Mr. House came around. He made an offer to the three biggest tribes that were willing to listen to him. Today, everyone calls those tribes the Three Families, and they live in luxury and run their own casinos in the Strip. Big. The rest of us were left to fight over the crumbs, living in the shadow of those more fortunate. Things got pretty nasty for a while. Oh, I can't wait to be totally more. elitist, a place Nova. Of our own. A place where no one could tell us what to do, and we didn't want to go elsewhere to find it. So we took control of this place and made it our own. That's really all Freeside is, the best of a bad situation. Tell me about the kings. We're different than other gangs, and not just because we dress better. We're not just a group of thugs looking for our next fight. The kings are about an idea, you see. Where every man is free to follow his own path, do his own thing. 
where every man is a king in his own right. Ooh, I dig that. That was a good sales pitch, man. Can I join? Why isn't every man in Freeside in your gang? We've tried to pass our philosophy on to the people of Freeside, but not everyone is ready to be a king. The kids <laughs> love us. But the old timers tend to shy away and keep to themselves. And they probably couldn't pull off the look anyway. <laughs> they gotta pull As off the, the others, look. Some people just plain don't respect others, and that's a no-no. If there's one thing I won't tolerate, it's lack of respect. Can I join the kings? Whoa there. Not just anyone can be a king. First of all, we usually only accept people native to the area. Second, I have to approve, and I don't. Yeah, Damn, sure that is brutal. King yet. But if yeah, you're okay. To join something fierce, stick around, and if you play your cards right, things might change. Nah, I don't want to join that bad. That's fine. Uh, about that favor you owe me, what can you tell me about Pacer? Pace? He He's an idiot. We grew up together around here. We've been through a lot together. There's no man I'd rather have at my side in a pinch. Don't judge him too harshly for trying to get some caps out of you. He probably took you for a squatter, looking for a place to settle down. Nah, he's There's just an idiot. There's people moving into the area lately, and it's got some people riled. Can't blame them myself. There's only so much to go around. Okay, and who are the important people in Freeside? There's me, but I don't... I feel like we've already had this conversation. Alright, never mind. Okay, uh, about that favor you owe me. Ask away. Want to join the Kings? Can you get me into the strip? I could really use some money. I'd like to think about it. Yeah, I guess I'll think. Fine by me. Just rem Oh God, I don't. It kind of freaked out, so I wasn't sure which one I clicked on. I gotta right. go. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. All right, so I can use my favor to get into the Kings, I guess. <laughs> okay. So I could join the Kings if I wanted. We'll keep that on the back burner. Man, that is loud. Okay, let's go talk to Julie real quick, uh, yet again, about the dog this time. Dude, this this is so much back and forth with Julie. I mean, this is nuts how many times they're making me talk to her. Can't help but notice Oris isn't over there anymore. They actually, like, picked him up off the street. The kings ain't messing around. <laughs> Great to see you again. Yeah, thanks. Uh, the king used to tell me about his robotic dog. Rex? It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. Whoa, wait a minute. I have Violetta's brain, which is a dog. And Rex's brain has gone bad. Am I putting a new brain in the dog? The king brought him here for treatment then? So you can't heal him? No. Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated oh my cybernetics work, too. God. So there's no chance he'll ever get better. I didn't say that. While no one here has that kind of expertise, I do know of one man who might fit the bill. There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Uh, that's, Last that's... I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, oh. up to the northwest. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say that rings a bell in my brain, but where have I heard that before? Jacobstown. Return of the King of the News that Rex can be healed. Thank you. You've been very no helpful. Problem. Okay. All right. Why would you not tell the King that? Okay, sure. Yet another errand. Run. Okay. But I think as long as we tell the King here and he doesn't... We're not going to Jacobstown. Even if he sends us to Jacobstown after this, that's not happening next. I think we're actually going to be able to walk into the strip today. Which would be so hype. What time is it right now? It's about to be 7 in game on December 20th, 2020, 2281. This is it. This is the day we go into the strip, December 20 December 20th, 2281. This is the day. Things I'm telling you. Better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Julie Farkas said a man in Jacobstown can treat Rex. She said, what? Why didn't she just say so when I was there? That's what I'm saying. Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when I went down there. I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway, that's incredible news. Bro, what? Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here. And you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what, you promised to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? Yo, we can have Rex follow us around? Absolutely, I'll see that he gets better. I can't thank you enough. 
Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here if you're going to be traveling together. Okay. First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. Okay. He's normally pretty obedient, but you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, okay. he doesn't like hats or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be what? it, though. Other than kind, the what? bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you will see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, this is your new master. Protect her as you would me. What? Rex is giving you the search and mark perk. So he's like Eddie, where I can have him along with another person? I'm gonna ask you to wait here because otherwise you're gonna attack people with uh, hats. And he can carry 210 pounds too? Can I talk to you, Rex? What's up, Rex? Alright, you've got to think about people with hats. We're on the same... Uh, we're on the same side, settle down. Okay, I gotta take my... Hat off? For real? Are you serious? How you feeling, boy? Wow. Wow. Well, that's a little annoying, but okay. So we're gonna get you fixed. Let me take a cl closer look at you. Examine the painting of the bull on Rex's side. Oh, that is he Legion? Examine his brain case. Brain looks sickly in the gel in which it's contained. Blah, 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 blah. That was really fast. Wait a minute. Doesn't look much better, okay. Mechanical parts. Body is battered, scorched, and scratched. It's remarkable that the biological part of him survived at all. Okay. Dang, he is looking rough, isn't he? Okay. Alright, Rex, I'm gonna leave you at the front door here, alright? I can't have you attacking people with hats on while we're gone. Alright, you wait right here. I'll be back. All right, Veronica. Let's go. Will she wear the dress if I take her armor from her? You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? <laughs> no, me? No. That's way too heavy. Never mind. I think I'm about to, though. Oh, it's time to get fancy. Take the weapon off. Okay, wait a minute. Do I need my weapon? What is the... What's going on? There is some shooting going on. The kings are taking someone out. Took out some kind of thug? Okay, sure. Alright, so here we are. This is Nova with the crazy bedraggled hair. <laughs> the outfit. She's got the heels on. She looks ready to party. Let's go. We're going to the strip. This is it. Finally, we're going. Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Uh, science 80. 1C, 3C, R34M. Now, I don't want to risk getting in trouble, even if that works. I'll submit to the credit check. 2,000 caps required. I've got that in Thank the you, madam. bag. You may proceed. Wait, I didn't just pay him, did I? No, okay, yeah, it was just a credit check. Okay, we're good. We have 87,500 caps. We've got way more than we need. Enter the strip. We've made it! The music kicks in here. Had it, partner. Oh my god, you're ruining this. What's up? What are you doing here? Listen to this music. Welcome, I'm dancing in my seat. Now hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. I love Just it. Head for the lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Okay. Alright, I'll go straight off. Yeah, partner. That's the spirit. He'll be waiting for you. The house always wins I. 
Ugh! Ugh! with your commanding officer after this. Why do they call it a monorail? It's a train. Train. <laughs> Dude, she's... She's toasted! I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Are you kidding me? Look at where you are. Come on, come the NCR be gambling out here. That's the lucky 38. Here's Gamora. Just ahead. So fucked up, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> They're getting so messed up. This gam <laughs> this gambler's like, oh, I'm all about it. Hey there, friend. A bit what of the? Mister Holdout. Like use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade, all kinds of easy to hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Easy to hide weapons. Things guards can't spot when they're patting you down or checking for iron at your hip. I can get weapons past the guard, no problem. You might. One fella I knew was able to slip a pistol past the guards. You? I'm guessing you could get a machine gun by them. <laughs> okay, why would I need to hide a weapon on me? Simple. You can't bring guns into the casino, that's why. They'll strip you to your fists. Okay. Sure. They say you get it all back when you leave. Me? I don't like being without a little insurance when it's my caps on the table. That's kind of fair. Let's see what you got. Take a look at these beauties. So that was the point of this gun, is that you can hold it in the casino. Okay. God, that gun is really bad, though. Maybe. We'll see, man. We'll see. For now? Actually, I should have taken your 400 caps from Back you. Back again? Nope. Uh, let's see what you have. Okay, pre-war money. I'm gonna sell you six. Okay, that's 60... 66 would leave him with four caps. There you go. Alright. Maybe we'll need his holdout stuff. Maybe. Let's see what we can sneak by on our own. With our high sneak skill, apparently. Gamora. We could go to the Lucky 38. Ah, fine. Ah, I'm just ready to relax, man. These last few episodes with all the dead money stuff going on have just been so stressful. Victor. Howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Thank you, Victor. Enjoy your visit. Okay, got it. The door wasn't open yet. Oh, yeah. This feels exclusive. As in, there's nobody else in the building exclusive. Is this stealing to take any of this? Actually, there's nothing here. And it's not stealing. I can just take the beer that's on the tables. This is interesting. Carton of cigarettes are just free game. Oh my god. I love Nuka Cola and Sunset Sarsaparilla. Give me all that. I'll just drink them for the caps, worst case. Interesting. Interesting. Is that pre war money? How are they just letting that sit there? What? They're just uh, there's just pre war money around this place. What? That's so wild. Nah, man, still overweight. That's all right. Like I said, I can just drink some. Glug glug. There's just pre war money. Not as much as I thought, actually. Those two ashtrays I thought were pre-war money, but still. Stacks of pre-war money just out and about. There's a lot of gambling you could do here. This is a weird, ominous presence, doesn't it? Kind of, a uh, Not completely, but kind of liminal spacey a little bit. Everything just feels off. Like a, a casino with no one at it, doing with no music, no motion, no nothing. Kind, kind of, yeah, it's giving me liminal space vibes a little bit. 
Look up liminal spaces if you don't know what I'm talking about, but the back rooms are like... Like the internet horror thing, the back rooms is kind of like a liminal space kind of thing. That's kind of what this feels like. Oh my goodness. Are they just gonna let me... Are they just gonna let me rummage through all this? Okay. I'm kind of just going through here. Wow. Thank you for your donation. Oh, shoot. I don't know what I just took. I'm gonna have to look at the recording. I was ex expecting the door to open, but not like that. <gasps> Let's go! <laughs> That's a little less exciting now that we have Implant GRX ten times a day, but still. Turbo for when we need it. That is so hype. They did not need that laser pistol. I can't believe it. Actually, Pew Pew could use a repair, couldn't it? Could we repair Pew Pew? No, it, it's full repair. That is so hype, dude. You never find turbo in this game. We found like three in this, like ever. Actually, I think that's our fourth ever, but still. We have found like four ever. And we just found our fourth. That is so huge. I'm so excited about that. All right, I need to drink more sunset sarsaparillas. Ah, ah, ah. Star bottle cap, if only that mattered. Gun cabinets are empty. Interesting. No gun cabinet anything. Okay, Veronica, you scared me. I was like, who's walking in here with me? My companion, obviously. Duh. This is a lot. Those kind of look like bowling pins to me. I know they're probably not supposed to be, but I just see bo like bowling alley bowling pins on the ceiling when I'm running around. He's got like boxing gloves there. Pre-war money. Of course, it's just out and about. How would... Okay, it's still... That's just strange. Lucky 38 access point. Oh. Everything's so clean. Golden gloves. And boxing times. I'm gonna leave that there for now. Yeah, just... Just take those and drink them. Bunch of whiskeys, okay. And then Nuka Cola until we're at six, I guess. No, until we're at twelve. There we go. Delish. And then a pre fried water because dehydration from drinking those other things. Golden fit gloves. Okay. Uh, I might take those golden gloves when I have more weight available. I mean, I kind of do with Veronica here, don't I? I should just be giving her some of this. Let me. Let's take it. Apparently we can, so... Golden Gloves. Inflicts fatigue damage for a KO. Four damage. Did it say one DPS? Jesus. So a joke weapon, basically. Alright. Uh, Veronica? Where are you? Oh boy. I've gone and got myself stuck here, haven't I? And I've also lost track of time. Uh, shoot. I was... Oh, I'm so excited to be on the strip. The next few episodes, I'm like 99% sure that the next few episodes are just going to all be like on the strip gameplay. So I hope you guys are ready to hang out on the strip for a while because I'm pretty sure that's what, what we'll be doing. Where did Veronica go? Hello? There she is. Did she get, did she fall out of the map? She must have. That's why she got teleported like you that. You see me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? That's funny. Here, have some golden gloves. It'd be funny if you used those. Instead of pushy, I'd have to take it off of you. All right. Well, anything new to say, Where Victor? Where to, partner? Oh, penthouse, I guess. Okay. Well, I guess we're at the penthouse, and we're gonna figure out what this is next time. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining Nova, Veronica, and I on this journey in Fallout New Vegas. And we are going to see all of you for some action on the strip. I don't know what's going to happen on the strip, but hopefully at some point, some blackjack. And we'll see all of you next time.